Namaste, dear being, another of me. Thank you for being there. Thank you for existing. I'm so excited to share this video with you because last night I had quite an experience while I was out of body or in a paralleler <laughs> body. <laughs> I have had experiences like this before but Nothing have I remembered this clearly, and this one lasted longer. What I have come to realize is that there are so many parallel realities going on. Like any moment you can have a timeline split. All those timelines exist, it's just not part of your experience. Because if you think of Earth like a video game, that makes sense, like there are all the potentials existing, always. Based on my experience, you can actually shift your consciousness from one parallel reality to another parallel reality. So about last night's experience, I was already very high before I went to sleep. I was feeling very, very high state of consciousness, like my higher self just entered my body fully again like i am here like all the time i feel like i'm already out of my body although i am in my body like i i look at myself i am the whole room i i see myself from every angle in my room and that happens a lot already to me last night i was very much in that state and i was meditating and I was staring at myself in the mirror, I was seeing my face change, I was really... <sighs> it was intense already at that point while I was still in my body. And then I went to sleep. My heart beats really, really, really fast. That's something I noticed. And the moment I'm separating from my body, I started hearing all these other sounds like it's like you're you're in this kind of void void again and then I can't hear my heartbeat again and that's when I know I have shifted my body because I'm not in the physical body anymore I I move my hands I move my body I'm completely in that let's say etheric body I was moving my hands and I just feel these pulsations of energy. I was moving my legs. I was still feeling very, very physical. It's not that different. I just lifted up and I was, I was in this room. I was like just kind of jumping and walking around in this room because that lightness is so... Ah, like I was feeling this joy. I flew up through the roof and to the sky I was there I flew high I flew into space I am surrounded by stars and I mean I'm, I'm just in space I feel so light and loved and Oh. Then I went through this portal. It was like this kind of spiral, like all realities are there, like around me. When I go through that portal, I mean, I'm, sur I'm surrounded by these noises as well, or these very, very like high pitched sounds. I don't know how to describe them, but they're very familiar. Every time I'm like shifting dimensions, I'm shifting realities, I go through these states of hearing like a lot of like... <laughs> the next thing I know is I wake up in my bed again, but this time on a parallel earth. In a different life, on a different timeline. It's morning, it's bright, it's daylight. And 
I am physical. I mean, if I'm not physical, I'm very, 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 very close to the physical. Like, I, I cannot tell a difference. Everything feels very dense. And I wake up, I walk around my house with full consciousness of this lifetime. I'm just so, like, high. It's like, I'm like, oh my god, like, I am in a different reality because there things are different so what i noticed is that there were like <sighs> guitars like two or three guitars and when i saw them i was like my father plays the guitar on this timeline because in this timeline my father bought a guitar like a long long time ago and he wanted to start playing it but he never actually started on that parallel earth my father was playing guitar and also my brother i cannot just realize like oh my brother and my father are playing the guitar together there were like at least two guitars the other one was like electric and the other one was like normal then I kept exploring. I was just walking around this house. I went to the balcony and I thought that I could try to jump and find out if I can fly. But then I just, I didn't because I was like, I think this is so physical that won't end up well. I think I can't fly on this, in this reality. And I didn't fly in that, that reality. So I noticed, yeah, things were different. My, the, the color of my house was a little, little bit different. And the balcony looked a little bit different. Um, the, But like, it's so cool because there are these things that are still there as well in the physical here. But then there are lots of things that are not like on this timeline here. And I, yeah, I just walked around. I looked at, I observed things. I... I just I was happy to notice that it was summer and then I heard my parents downstairs they were like cleaning or something I heard like maybe I heard the vacuum cleaner and then I walked downstairs and I was kind of like <sighs> like because I already knew that now I'm in, I'm a different consciousness in this body and I was kind of like excited and even a bit like scared to meet these parallel parents of mine like what are they gonna be like will they notice that i am not this same tina and i walked downstairs i remember so clearly just walking step by step downstairs just like i would in the physical here and i mean i was downstairs and there i saw my mother and there i saw my father and holy shit, it was a different vibe. Different vibe that on this, this timeline. It's like their whole personality is different. My mother seemed kind of more negative and cynical. And I mean, I, I feel like <sighs> that was a very old earth timeline that I had entered. A very old earth parallel reality. <sighs> like I just started talking like, I just woke up and I came here from year 2020 from a parallel reality earth. I was like flowing, telling them everything that I could just like tell. I was so excited how we live in a house like this, but the house is different. Some things are so different. And when I mentioned the year 2020, my mom was just a bit like, huh? How long are you imagining to live in our house? As if I didn't like, as if she didn't even hear the parallel reality part. As if she didn't hear all this higher dimensional stuff at all that I was explaining to her. And the reaction that I got was that, oh, she, she has some mental problems type of reaction. Like they didn't understand at all. And my, my parents said something like, we're going, we have to go to my grandmother's place to some kind of family gathering. 
but before that I went outside because I wanted to explore like how does this house look this house looks just the same except for some differences again I so that the grass actually there was more grass on the yard the house looks quite similar i was walking i was walking to the backyard i was walking around then i walked to the street there i was standing on the street and i'm so high because i'm so excited about this experience that i'm having i felt like i came from the heavens from this new earth timeline to an old earth timeline though and it was so kind of interesting because I was able to feel energies that I haven't felt for a long time in this reality but it, then I walked this street that I live on and I saw this house for example on their doorstep there was this um, surname of my former neighbor or neighbors and I, real I realized that, oh, they still live here. On this timeline again, there was living a couple and they had different surnames and eventually they broke up and they moved away. And on that timeline, there was still the surname, just the other surname. When I just looked at it, I realized that, oh, on this timeline, they still, or she still actually lives here, this woman. Later on, on during that day I asked my mother about this oh like this woman still lives there what about his what about his like husband Harry and my mom was confused what husband Harry she hadn't heard about that she was she was again kind of like a bit like uh, what are you talking about now and she said oh yeah she lives there with with her husband Olavi they have lived there for a long time, something like that. And I was like, huh? that's something in a different timeline, again. Then I saw our cars, we had different cars in this reality. Uh, we, we, I saw this white Toyota and we don't have a white Toyota, we have like a different model and a different color car. But it also totally made sense, like when I saw that I was like, oh, yeah, my father had chosen this car instead in this timeline. And I just realized that it's because he has a little bit different personality in this timeline. He has a different vibe in this timeline. So of course he's going to choose a different car. I was still like, I just walked around a lot. And I was actually running a bit and I was like, I was saying, universe, I love you, universe, I love you, thank you for giving me this experience, universe, I love you, like, I was so high and happy and in my heart and in my power, like, despite all this lower energy that I was sensing around me. Then my parents came outside and they said, it's time for us to go to the family gathering. And then we went there together to my grandmother's house. And yeah, I was sharing to all the people about my experience. But hey, do you realize I woke up here and I came from another alternate reality, from another version of Earth, from a different lifetime. I'm not the same consciousness as I, I've been here before. Like, I was just flowing all this stuff and they were confused. And again, it felt like they didn't understand that at all like their level of consciousness was here if now on this timeline on this earth i feel like people's consciousness is kind of higher but their very 3d timeline like i was just mentally ill to them and then i saw my grandfather who has passed away in, on this timeline here and i was like wow he still lives here I asked my father, like, wow, like, he's still alive. My grandfather is still alive. In that other reality, he's dead already. And then my father was a bit like, oh, yeah, he looks alive to me. <laughs> like, this kind of, like, mm, oh, yeah. Like, as if they were already used to me being 
talking about weird stuff like as if they have already like gotten used to these things like <sighs> and yeah I saw my family there like many people think they looked quite similar I didn't like think about it that much because I didn't like the energy at all I was like okay I will just go outside and explore more that's what I thought in that moment and I started to walk towards the door outside then I, I saw my brother there too and I was like sensing a different vibe in him as well I was like so happy still because I was staying in my heart all the time and I was like trying to hug him and he was like uh, what like he was like confused about that that's like inappropriate or something I felt like the vibe in that reality was the same as maybe it has been here in the 50s on this timeline maybe or I don't know but it was certainly a fear-based 3d reality still very limited thinking like people's minds were very limited then I got closer to the door but I sensed my grandmother's presence and then I realized oh but my grandmother is very different in this reality this vibe was just so woof and I like she didn't let me outside the door I held her hands and I, I was like just focusing on like transferring love to her transferring love to her and I remember looking at her eyes like straight in the eyes and I just realized that she is not open to re receiving this love me sending her this love is just making her more furious it's kind of like increasing her negativity this negative energy in her like she had a lot of this negative abusive energy and I had a vibe that she had had some trauma and that had caused her to lose her mind and also it's like no wonder if that reality is so fucking dense of course people are gonna have lots of mental problems in that reality in that version of earth I then just decided to pray for my angels please help me please help me please help me I, I, I just focused on my heart and I was like angels please help me and I woke up back in this reality it was very intense experience and I, I mean the first thing when I woke up here was I, I was thinking like what happened to that parallel version of Tina like did the old consciousness of her enter her body there and now she's in that bad situation and but I mean that's an interesting topic because when you shift timelines like that when you shift to a parallel reality it's like you shift channels you shift to a different channel of earth Ch different channel of your life different parallel reality and <sighs> I shifted back to this channel and now I'm fine here. I'm more than fine. I, I, I mean, after that experience in the nighttime, I was so... <sighs> like, I for a long time, I just kind of had to take that in. I had just been in a different world. And I realized that I don't really actually want to tune myself randomly to some other parallel realities anymore because when I'm out of body it's like I get these portals, these possibilities to go anywhere and when I was out of body I had zero intention last night to where I would end up and now I just decided that the next time I find myself out of body I will take myself to places of a higher vibrational nature it's all my responsibility like my vibration and all this like where I end up it's like anything can happen you know but yes please share your experiences I loved connecting with you today and sharing this this I still feel like I'm processing it and I'm looking forward to what kind of experiences I get to have in the future Amen. Namaste. I wish you an amazing day on this planet, on new earth. Appreciate this, baby. This is new earth. This is new earth. When you see the contrast, when you get reminded of the old earth, then you're like, 
remember that oh that that's what it was but like this very dense old earth it's not even here anymore it's not at least i haven't experienced that for a long time i have felt a little bit 3d crits yes but nothing like in that parallel reality where there was no grid keepers around. On this new earth, we have us that have incarnated here to be the grid keepers of new earth, keeping the highest grids here. And it's such a valuable work. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for playing your part in Ascension. I'm very grateful to you, sister, brother fellow wanderer. <laughs> you. Thank you for being you.